people, it's Malika from Meek Speaks VIP. You've heard of The Apprentice, right? Well, there's one candidate on there, on the 15th series, called Cinnamon Bar. And this video is talking and clarifying why I believe Lord Sugar made a mistake when dismissing Cinnamon on the third task. Solomon, it is with regret you're fired. Throughout the third task of toy making, everyone criticised Cinema. They criticised him for being negative. But I've got a reason for why he was negative and how the others also played a part in this. You're a sportsman, right? And you know positivity is a very, very strong point in teams. And yet, you weren't bringing any positivity to the team. In my personal experience, what happened to Suleiman is actually very, 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 very similar to what happened to me in my school days. In my school days, I used to do a lot of group work, and that reminded me of Suleiman's situation. We all saw that he was in the corner or away from the crowd a bit, not socialising with the main group. And that's exactly what happened to me. I was always kind of at the edge of the table and I was always quite quiet even though I had a little clicker thing that I used to use to for attention. During the group work, I always felt that I was ignored because I was a VIP and people thought, oh, how can the VIP have ideas? But I want to prove that that's not true. Just because someone's different doesn't mean they don't have ideas. And I always felt hurt. And I resorted to getting angry or really frustrated or just really just annoyed. And I felt so kind of uneasy and uncomfortable in the group setting that I never ended up voicing my parent opinions and the group never used to benefit from me. Being fair, Suleiman didn't make many positive comments and he didn't give suggestions. But there's a reason for that. I noticed that he was always left to the side or not included in the main group discussions. As I said, same with me. Around the table, in a group setting, I was always left on the corner to just listen and not give my input. And people may feel bad for that, but I think it's all about making sure that everyone else around you understands that you find it a little bit harder to communicate. A solution would have been to educate the candidates on awareness for VIPs and help them create an environment for Suleiman to share her ideas without frustration. One more thing, my advice for Lord Sugar in the future. Just before Suleiman was fired, he said, you're very brave for entering this process. Now look, Solomon, quite honestly, to put yourself forward to come into this process was a giant leap and brave. And I was shocked. Even I read reports of Suleiman saying that he was shocked and it really flustered him. And I can understand that. Just because he was different, because he had tunnel vision, doesn't mean that he is not capable. It's very patronising. And it makes you feel like a little baby if you say, Oh, that was so brave. You're such a good child. Rub on the shoulder. You're so good. Even though you're fully capable. This is yet another example of why I want to remove the word disability from the dictionary. Because it has so many impacts on people's lives that are just are just so fake and false that people just ended up believing these stereotypes and thinking that people who are different are not capable. But that is 100% not true. Because look at Cinnamon, he's a Paralympian, he's amazing, he's very positive and doesn't let criticism get to him. It's a negative word. And that's exactly why I want to remove it. It makes a false perception in people's minds and it makes them think that someone who is different, as I said, is not capable of doing tasks such as being on the apprentice, which is completely not true, as we saw in cinema. And let me tell you, Lord Sugar, I think you lost a diamond there. You'll never meet someone like Cinnamon because he's got something special. He's got a physical challenge that makes him see the world in a completely different way. And I bet it'll take you a hundred years to find someone like that. Remember people, don't judge by the eyes, judge by the heart.